All right, so we're looking at an iPhone 12 here. Needs a charge port replacement. Did try to clean the port. Uh, not only of any lint, but also tried to clean the pins. So we've got it on the hot plate now. We're going to put a little bit of the Love Potion number no. 9 around the bottom edge there. And then we're going to come in with a straight razor. And this screen is working perfectly fine. I know a lot of you guys have issues with the opening of these devices, but trust me, this is the best method. And I use my fingernail. Nothing better than the Godzilla fingernail. Okay, we've got it open. This video does look like it's uh, playing at a high speed, but actually this is just my normal working speed. My goodness, I'm surprised myself. So first thing we do is get the battery unclipped. Then we're going to remove the ear speaker flex. And on the ear speaker flex, you've got the ambient light sensor, proximity sensor, flood illuminator, top microphone. Okay, we've got that out of the way. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and get the motherboard out, I do believe. So far we've used two screwdrivers. You'll see we're going to end up using four screwdrivers and you're going to see a lot of screws. So we're going to go ahead and get everything unclipped. Let's get all this stuff undone. Apple loves to make things overly complicated with repairs, but that's nothing that we can't handle. Okay, so now you've seen four screwdrivers. You have the pentalobe, you got the standoff, you got the tri-wing, and you got the Phillips. Okay, go ahead and get underneath this camera. I'd recommend you take the camera module out if, uh, if you're not confident that you won't damage it because you could easily damage the flex by bending it too much on the camera. I'm confident that uh, I won't do that. Okay, here I've taken the razor. I'm going to slice this sticker so that I can pull the power button up. It's connected by a big uh, big cable there. That big silver chip you see underneath there, that's the NAND. That's the hard drive. We're back to the tri-wing. We're just going to take this shield off. We're going to get all these screws out that hold the SIM tray in. Okay, you see we've got the SIM card out now. Use the tweezer to eject it. It's the handiest ejector, even though there's one hanging right next to this on my microscope. Just like to do what's the most efficient and the fastest. It's a very busy shop. We've got to keep these repairs going and going. Okay, we've got the SIM tray out, the SIM reader rather. And we're just getting the rest of the cables undone here from the charge port. All right, we're getting all this out of the way. Now we're going to pull the motherboard out. As I said, I did try to clean this charge port and polish up all the pins, but it just didn't do the trick. None of the pins are damaged. Um, yeah, I used contact cleaner and the uh, tweezers and just under the microscope really shined those pins up best that I could, but still was not taking a good charge. So that's unfortunate. Okay, here we go. We start to remove all of the screws that hold the charge port flex cable along with the vibration motor and the loudspeaker out. You can see up in the top middle of the frame by the screen that we've removed, we've got the new charge port flex there. Okay, 
There comes the loudspeaker out. Boom, vibration motor. This is a little uh, shield. Holds a couple of things in place, like the microphone. And there are screws on the side. Go into the frame. There's lots of circuitry that's attached to the charge port flex. So I do recommend that you fully test everything that would be plugged into that charge port flex or that is on that charge port flex when you are done before you send it out with the customer. You're going to want to check the ringer. You're going to want to check the microphone. You're going to want to check signal, vibration. Charging, of course, you're going to want to check. Okay, these screws that go in through the charge port and into the frame on either side of the charge port, you're going to want to be careful with those. Those are very easy to strip. So you definitely want to be careful with those. Make sure your screwdriver is good. Uh, yeah, see here, it's a little out of frame, but I'm pulling the charge port flex up right now is what I'm doing. Gonna have to adjust that camera for the next time. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, yeah, I'm just basically, it doesn't matter what happens to that charge port flex now, it's coming out. It's no good. That's what's going on there. I try to preserve them. Uh, it's good practice, as well as, you know, there are still good parts on that charge port flex, like the microphone. So if someone were to come in and you had that charge port flex and it was properly labeled you could take a microphone from that desolder it from the old one solder it onto the new one and as long as it was indeed the microphone and not any of the other circuitry on the charge port flex then you'd be fine so now you see we've got the new one we're putting it in we're going to start putting a few screws in place I would recommend uh, that you do test the part a lot sooner than you will see me in this video um, but I'm fast so here we've switched to the microscope view I just want to line this microphone up under the microscope here make sure it's seated very nice okay get this all right get those down into place and make sure you see it's not quite lined up here so I'm gonna find the right tool there we go get it in its place nicely back to the overhead view and you get those screws in that go on either side of the charge port like I said you want to be very mindful of those screws you want to make sure that you don't strip them so take your time make sure your angles right on your driver if you have to take the battery out, take the battery out. Those are important screws and you don't want to strip them. You're, you're going to make your life a nightmare if you do. Okay, we get the screws that go in the side of the frame. At this point, if I were you, I would stop and test the charge port that it is indeed charging um, I'm a wild one so usually just keep going as you can see I mean there's loads of screws out on the table they've all got to go back they're all different sizes they're different types and they've all got to go back in, in my experience they're all important and you don't want to mix them up you could really cause yourself a lot of grief if you do okay so we're just sort of getting everything situated now so I can pop the motherboard in and once I do that I'll check with my ammeter It's an ammeter, A-M-M. -M. 
E-T-E-R, not an amp meter, although it does read the amperage, it is an ammeter. Call it whatever you want. Doesn't matter to me. Just thought I'd let you guys know. I'm not one to bust your chops about, oh, it's not a TriStar. It's a, it's not a, a U2. It's a TriStar. I really don't care what you call it. You call it a charging IC. It's fine by me. Call it a thingamabob. Thingamabob will work. Okay, so we're getting a few more things plugged in. And looks like we're going to... Okay, we're plugging in the charge port and the battery. Now we're plugging in a cable. Popping in some more screws while this is doing its thing. And all the while that this is going on, I'm checking the current. As we're just getting this whole thing back together. It's the vibration motor. Ah, fix the camera. Look at that. Only took about half the video to do so, but okay. And get the SIM tray in. So at this point, I've checked the charging. I know it's charging, and we're just flying it back together. Beauty. Standoff screws, you got all kinds of different size. Standoff screws, different lengths. Even different barrel diameters. It's, it's Apple. What are you going to do? They just, they make this stuff. Uh, just to give us a hard time, I guess. No, I don't know. They have their reasons, I suppose. The engineers so as I said it is important that all these screws go back in their right place especially ones that go into the motherboard or into the housing put the wrong screw in the wrong spot and you really could damage something uh, when you are putting these screws back in, I mean, you're going to want to feel, you know, if, if you're at the end and there's still more screw left to put in, don't force it. Do not force it. Just check that you have the right screw or is the, are the threads matching up properly? Um, you know. So looks like we are getting close to the end of this iPhone 12 charge port replacement. If you do like this video, please drop a like. If it helped you out in any way, hit the subscribe button. That always helps me out. Drop a comment. Any type of engagement really helps my channel. Appreciate it. Okay, so loudspeaker. You'll notice here I do get a few screws in and then realize I put one of the tri wings in the wrong spot. There's a tri wing that goes like in the bottom right. I have no idea why it's even there. It's just a it's a weird thing. I, I didn't figure it out, but so I do get this loudspeaker in and then realize oh <laughs> and yeah we got a
can see here I start to realize I can't get the tri-wing out right there without taking the loudspeaker out so I've got to remove the last three screws that I put in take them out the head of the of the tri-wing screw that I'm after didn't want to fit out here we go I've got it loudspeaker back in tri-wing to the side let's get the Phillips I noticed that you can't really see my desk and how many screws there are uh, on that mat but gosh there's a lot of screws that are involved and you can see every time I touch that screwdriver to the mat I'm picking up another screw so a lot of people uh, seem to be impressed with the magnetized screwdrivers uh, but really this is a uh, you know this is elementary science you tap a piece of ferrous metal on a magnet here I'm cleaning the sim card it looked a little crusty so I use a fiberglass pencil to clean it now I'm going to use some adhesion promoter the adhesive was very good still I was able to get it the phone opened without damaging the adhesive so I'm just gonna freshen it up if you will okay yeah so back to the magnetization if you bang your screwdriver on a magnet on the right side of the magnet then you will magnetize the screwdriver onto the side that attracts that the magnet will stick to the screwdriver and on the side the opposite side if you bang it there then you will demagnetize now if you do wear an automatic watch like I do uh, you should be mindful of being around magnets uh, you don't want to magnetize your watch it will speed it up and you will have to get it demagnetized Okay, just get the ear speaker all back in. Now we get the battery. And the shield that goes over the charge port and the battery. So, I mean, you can see we're wrapping this up. And it's uh, about 18 minutes here. I'd say that's pretty good time. 18 minutes for an iPhone 12 charge port replacement. I don't know if you know if that's something you guys do regularly or not but I would say you know 20 minutes it's about a 20 minute repair half an hour you know I'd be happy with okay we're just checking the seal you can see we're charging there we go Okay, so this uh, video has come to an end. Thanks a lot.